Hello friends. You know it's for many folks the holiday season and to me this is a time when people come together and often for me it's a time of gratitude of remembering the important things in my life important people in my life and I wanted to take today and share with you about my father and some of you may know this already, but he used to be an ER doctor. And once, I don't know, maybe I was 14, 15. This was back in the day when such things were allowed. We had less rules in the world. And he took me in to essentially job shadow him. And I got to see a tiny, tiny little slice of his life. In the ER. Now, back at this time, they would do 24 hour shifts often. And I, that day when I went in, didn't see anything too intense. But I knew some of the things that he had to deal with. And when I look back, I think that work he did, he was truly hero. You, you may not know it, but if you're going to become a doctor, there are much more high paying jobs that you can have as a doctor. So if you're going to be a surgeon, for instance, I think you're going to make a lot more than you're going to make as an ER doctor. And no offense to surgeons out there, but you may not be under the same amount of pressure. Though I imagine a heart or brain surgeon any surgeon there's some there's a lot of pressure there but not quite the same as having you don't know what's going to come through that door in the er could be anything and i know there are times my dad had to walk over and tell a wife that her husband wasn't alive anymore and even more heartrending to tell parents that their child wasn't coming out alive out of the ER. The, the stressors, the mental emotional stressors that he underwent in order to be there for people in their times of greatest need, stuff I don't think I could handle. When I think about this, it puts me into a state of deep gratitude for what he decided to do with his life. All around us, there are heroes. And I'm not just talking about our firefighters and our ambulance drivers, our EMTs. No, it might be someone in your life who, when you were in a time of great financial need, reached out and did something that changed your family's entire fortune. It may be that there was a time when you felt like there wasn't a reason to go on and someone spoke a few words that changed your mind so you didn't go home and take those pills. It might be that you have devoted yourself to parenthood or grandparenthood, whatever it may be, in such a deep way that you're making a powerful, powerful impact in your children's lives, your grandchildren's lives. Heroism comes in many forms, but this is a good time of the year to be cognizant of that, to remember those who are there for us. You know, someone dear to me recently had a house fire, and to me, that was a realization that there are people, those firefighters, that are just waiting. They're on call to be there for you in that time of need. And they were there for his family and were able to save his house. So where in your life are there heroes? And I would love to take this comment section today and to turn it into a place where we can read about some of the really vital people 
in our lives. Take heroism in any form that you choose to define it. It doesn't have to be somebody that brought a stopped heart back into beating. It can be somebody who changed your life in other ways. But share down there in the comments some of your heroes. Share stories. Share inspiration. Let's honor those people during this holiday season through sharing our stories, through giving our gratitude and thanks, and of course, asking that really important question, how can we be somebody's hero in our lives? Is there some way that we could reach out to someone around us who's in need and to give them something that would really make a difference during this holiday season? All right, my friends, so much love to you all. Thank you for being part of our family's adventure. And I'm really excited to see what you have to say down there in the comments. Really hoping to read some really inspiring stories. Love you all.